when we are talking of globalization, when we are talking of MNCs, when we are talking of foreign trade, import, export, in the same chain one bead is still left and that is of foreign investment. Now you all know that foreign investment is very very essential because if people from other countries come and invest in your country, it is definitely a sure sign of a developing nation. That is the other countries see lot of potential here. That is why they are ready to invest in the country because uh, nobody likes to invest his money in a dead country or in a dead area. So, it gives us a kind of feeling that we are a country which is slowly developing. Now, the foreign investment when it is done in the country, it definitely is sustaining the investments in the country because when more and more people keep investing, it means it is a sustainable investment that is now also people are investing and they are going to do it in future also sustainable. Next is that it fills the technology and management gap that is when people from other countries invest in your country they surely bring in modern technology and whatever good rules of the management are. This means that we come at par with other countries of the world. Next is it minimizes the balance of payment problem. The next one is it undertakes the initial risk of investment. Now if I were to explain this to you I would say supposing uh, somebody want is, wants to start with a chocolate manufacturing unit in the country that is way long back and he was sure that chocolate is something which people are going to like, the children are going to love but he was not sure of the Indian taste. He was not sure with if whatever he manufactures that is going to work in the Indian market. But when came in the Cadbury or the other such companies from outside who invested, who took the initial risk of investment and it worked out, gave a heart to the Indian investors that they too can actually invest in this particular field. Next is, it definitely develops the basic infrastructure of the country. When somebody comes from outside and invests, so even if you go and invest your money in a remote corner of the country, you are going to definitely have good roads around you. You are definitely going to have electricity, you are going to definitely have water, sanitation, you are going to actually see that the area gets developed which is uh, which is called as the developing of basic infrastructure in the country. It is because when somebody is investing, the foreign investment is being done for profit motive, they need first of all to actually enhance the infrastructure of the country. So definitely the foreign investment are sustaining the investment, they are filling the technology and management gap, they are minimizing the balance of payment problem, they are taking their initial risk of investment and they are also developing the basic infrastructure in the country. Well, when this goes on, the trade, the import, the export, the foreign investment and when the economy is revolving, globalization is continuing, what is happening? Something very visible is enhancement of technology which comes forward because of the inflow and the outflow and the transport system of the country also gets a big boost because 
people need to transport their goods from where they are manufacturing to the country to even the remotest part of the country and sometimes also for export. So, it is an all round development in the infrastructure, in the transport, in the technology, in the payments, in the investment, in the management when actually globalization is continuing. So, globalization is a perfect thing which needs to be accepted by all of us in the world. Thank you and have a good day.